Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, this is, we're continuing our series of common command line tools that are used that you can replace with PowerShell. Uh, there's a lot of things that you go through in the day to day if you're an admin for 15, 20 years like I am. Just there's command line or command prompts that you just use by default. Uh, command prompt is, no, it's been depreciated, it's no longer being updated. PowerShell is the way of the future. So we're just kind of highlighting how can we take those and, and move them over to uh, something that's going to keep on growing and be relevant for you. And in this case, we're doing task kill, which is basically stopping some sort of process. For PowerShell, that one is get or stop process. So if we do say get process, and then we'll say Chrome. I know I've got Chrome running on this. You can see there's a lot of instances of Chrome right in there. But we want to close Chrome. We could actually just pipe that into stop process. And you can see Chrome closed on this machine. And that's, that's a quick use of, hey, you can show it on a quick kill the process, but you can also make it more complex. You could build an array of processes you're looking to stop. And you could send that on and say, for each one of these processes, if running, stop and kill it. It just gives it a little bit more versatility. It still have the same basic functionality, but the ability to grow and expand it, make it more, uh, I guess, versatile for your toolbox. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.